All right, I want to make a quick point because people, uh, clients have been bringing this up to me recently. And I think it's, well, look, I, I don't want to shit on anybody. And that's not how I mean this, but I think it's indicative of a, of a kind of a bad frame of mind, right? So I show them, we always start all the dogs on these star mark collars, see? And they're like plastic pinch collars, but they're real easy. They look like Legos to me, but, you know, because of fur baby culture, a lot of people see this and it's like a, only slightly better than the German torture device, the, the steel pinch. So they say, like, when does the dog have to stop wearing this collar? And I explain to them, I go, well, for me personally, with my own dogs, well, I mean, look, Butchie's got a flat collar on right now. He's taking a nap. And, and the reason for that is because I think it's cute. And the same thing with Elvis. And then Dewey, if he's going to do, I don't, actually don't like using flat collars for protection work. I'd rather have a harness on them. Um, but sometimes he's got that flat education collar on, you know, I just mostly because I think it looks cool. So, <laughs> but so they don't really need a ton of correction anymore. He's got an e collar on now because we're going to go for a walk. And I'm working on just having him walk a lot off leash, like, like in the street with traffic around and stuff. So, and then the other two don't have e-collars. All right, what am, I, what am I getting at with all this? This is my version of the flat collar, the star mark. It's the gentlest corrective collar you can get. And I like it better than flat collars because flat collars don't have any give to them. It's static pressure. If, say, you pull on a dog so it engages their oppositional reflex. That's why we use it in protection training. It's, it's similar to a harness in that sense. It also applies a lot of tracheal pressure. These guys, I keep the teeth off of them the uh, trachea and it has give to it so if you if you see <laughs> you're not going to be helpful if you see okay so it's boop boop okay it moves these things squeeze so this the the pressure does it, it's just not just pulling it's it's giving okay so it, it you can squeeze and then release squeeze then release no Dewey place don't ruin the video please I know it's too small. Okay, touch. Good boy. Um, so it's, I find it superior to a flat collar. And here's the thing. Look at these fucking dogs, man. And look at this collar. Like, if they really... This isn't much of a deterrent. It's just... It's tactile communication with the dog. A little bit of pressure, a little bit of squeeze. And telling them, here, it's like saying to someone here, dude, like a personal trainer is teaching you. And they're like, no, nope, no, nope, it's like that. And they kind of move you around a little bit. Um... That's what it feels like to them. Do you think that's like hard punishment if I just pump the leash on a fucking collar like that, on a dog like this? No. They do what, what I want them to do because they're trained, you know? I mean, this is not much of an aversive. So, but at the same time, you still got to use pressure and training, I think, for the lifetime of the dog for the most part. But it's, it generally... Once it trains, at a very low level. And it's just like, it's more like reminders. And it's just, I view it as more efficient communication. But here's the other thing. You're going to have to correct your dog for, for his entire life. Okay? And when you say, it's, so basically when people say, when can the dog get off his collar? It's kind of like, when can the dog never be corrected again? Now, dogs can move to verbal only if you want to, if you get really advanced. But even those dogs, you have to go back sometimes and start to put in some aversives here and there and, and, and remind them a little bit. There's no such thing as never having to correct the dog again. Okay. It, it just does. It's, it's not true. It doesn't exist. Even if you just said, and oh, that's a conditioned punisher at that point. So that's, that's a punishment. Now, here's one way of thinking about it. it uh, just kind of how absurd that mindset is. When do you stop? Re okay. Okay, boys. Good. Uh, when do you stop rewarding a dog? And the answer is never. You reward the dog their whole life, even if it's just through praise. But you should, you should reward them randomly with high value rewards really their whole life. And it's the same thing with corrections, except it's, it's a continuous, um, you call it a continuous punishment schedule, which means they fuck up, you correct every time, even if it's just verbal. Okay? So... Uh, and then the reward schedule is random, but they both training. It's, it's the same. It really at its core, it's like saying, when do I stop training my dog? And never, even if you stop training, you just give up. 
You're still teaching your dog shit. You teach them every minute of every day something. Okay, so training is for the lifetime of the dog. Corrections for the lifetime of the dog. Reward is for the lifetime of the dog. Okay, so what's a, a pussy collar like that, which is what the Stormark is, especially a dog like this, but little dogs walk through it. To make a dog yelp with this, you, have to, you would have to yank the shit out of them. And really, they're yelping because they're surprised because you hurt their fucking feelings because you're acting like a maniac. It's not, it's, the pressure is minimal. Okay, you could, you could put it on a, on a fucking eighth grade girl and she wouldn't give a fuck. All right, that's weird. That's a bad example. But <laughs> Dewey, Dewey gave me that talking point earlier. I didn't think it through, right, buddy? But uh, yeah, don't put dog collars on eighth grade girls. But... It's not a big deal, all right? And you, people really have to reorient their thinking, and they got to stop with the, with the shit about the callers, really. It, it's, it's fucking infuriating, and it's, it just shows a general laziness in the mentality. It's like, it's not about the dog's comfort, really. It's about people's own comfort. Ooh, I'm not comfortable with that. Well, look at the dog. Do you think he gives a fuck? You know, they scratch at it sometimes if it's been left on too soon. People are like, oh, it doesn't seem crazy about the collar. You're looking for excuses, okay, You're, you, to, to, to be lazy and passive and not, you know, use any pressure because it makes you uncomfortable and not correct the dog. And you're going to be fucking lazy about rewarding the dog, too. You might bribe them on occasion, okay? Sit, sit, sit. Okay, sit. Yeah, that's not reward. The dog isn't working for that. They're, they're just falling your hand around mindlessly. You're bribing them. But you're going to have to reward them. You're going to have to praise them. You're going to have to form a fucking relationship with them. And you're going to have to correct them too sometimes. And it's not, not harsh. You're not hurting the fucking dog, man. Especially with this collar. And uh, really, you've got to be committed in all in across, this, across the board and understand it's a lifelong investment with these guys. Elvis, you coming? Let's go, buddy. Come on, we're going for a walk. I'm done yapping. And, you know, you see Elvis's age. And, again, I do, on my older guys, they'll have flat collars on sometimes because they don't need much. But, uh, you know, I, I mix and match a little bit, and it's just depending upon my mood. Um, but they, it's, if I have to communicate with them through the leash, it's always better with the star mark. All right, that's it. But enough with this shit with the fucking star mark collar. Really, guys. It, it, it's, it's silly. Like, when, when do we, what do you want to put them on? A fucking harness? He's got a harness on right now. You know why? Because it, it, when you pull back on it, it makes him go forward, and I want him to bite people in suits. <laughs> I'm trying to get him to move forward, okay? And, and that's why we use it with sled dogs, weight-pulling competitions, all that shit. Well, a flat collar does the same thing at a lower level, plus it irritates your dog's trachea. What do you, what, I don't understand what the fucking problem is with the star mark. God, it fucking irritates me. You got to correct them and apply a, a, at least a little bit of pressure for their whole lives. And you also have to reward them their whole lives. And you have to train them their whole lives. They're living entities. Okay? They require a lot of up, upkeep. You know, enough with this bullshit with the star mark, guys. Please, it's awful.